Hello, hello, hello. It's Mark Out here, the Mark Out Show Adventures of the Cosmic Suit. Look at this. This is the hair you get when you're a dad and your daughter rings you up and says, Can you take me to town to buy some Doc Martins? And I was like, Dr. Martins? They're... Oh, sorry, this is beeping at me. Dr. Martins boots. Alexi Sale, do you remember him? Dr. Martins boots. Oi! Right. Well, firstly, I said, Mmm. -mm. Doc Martens did an LGBT boot, and I'm not really very happy about this. But then I'm like, you know, she's 16. There'll be what will there be about 50 quid, 200 euros. Anyway, I just got in, so uh, I haven't I haven't done my hair, my teeth, I haven't done the makeup or anything. But we're here today to talk about sovereignty, how to master sovereignty. Now I've been talking about this subject for a very very long time. I um. Some of you might remember me telling the story about how I actually tried to launch myself and spent a lot of money on social media about 10 years ago as the sovereign entrepreneur. And because uh, I have a background in teaching marketing and that kind of stuff. And back then, people would write to me and say, what's this about being a king? Nobody had a clue. But one of the things COVID has taught us is that during this period of spiritual quarantine in the last four years is that we have to become sovereign you cannot have sovereign nations without sovereign individuals and that means that a lot of us have seen through the veil of the deception of this world which means we have because of covid we have had to become masters of a, or mistresses i'm not trying to be sexist of our own destiny that means in terms of our thoughts our feelings our spirituality our health and our wealth and all of these things together are very very important and three years ago i got a very strong message to, to launch a, a course called how to monetize what's already in your head create a new income stream and become sovereign quickly and i literally those of you that have been watching me a long time will know this but i literally fought that off for months and months and months i just couldn't understand why in the middle of a pandemic i was being told to do this but when i made the course I quickly realized that what it was teaching people to do, and you can still access that course, and it's still it's all recorded and it's all still valid. Um, the links are in most vi under most videos. I don't think it's under this video though. So um, go and have a look at another video if you want to find the link for that. There's a free webinar. But the point is that that course, uh, when I was teaching it, I realized halfway through making it that it was really it wasn't about money. It was about um, finding your voice and finding a way of getting your voice out there and finding a way of becoming less dependent on the state. And through this process, I also started looking into common law about 12, 13 years ago. And when I was still living in the UK, I was disgusted with the British Brainwashing Corporation. So I and, and also I, I came home one day, and I've told this story before, but bear with me. Um, and my children, who were all like little at the time, were, were didn't see me come through the room. I walked through the playroom on the way into the house and they were all just watching the TV like this. And I walked in front of them and was doing, hey, dad is here, dad is here, nothing. I was like, fuck, they're hypnotized. And this was just after Tony Blair in the UK had brought in the fucking digital towers and all of that nonsense. And I realized, hang on, they're, they're, this, is, this has got to end. So I stopped paying my TV license. I learned a very powerful phrase, which you should all learn. Uh, when the bailiffs came, when I knew they were going to come, I held my phone up and I said, and I was shaking. I held my phone up and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm filming you to go on YouTube later in case you're a bit of a dickhead. And then he said, are you Mr. Atwood? And I said, I said I'm not answering that question. You don't answer the question because you enter a contract. So I learned this phrase and I said, through jittery teeth, I said, um, I revoke your implied right of access to this property, please leave. And to my great surprise, he turned around and he walked off the property and I was like oh there's something to this and since then I've learned a huge amount um, due to meeting people like Peter Wilson who I'm going to bring on now good day mate hello 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 how are you now very good give you very, a second for the question I'm too I'm too buzzed up because I just rushed here um now we we met a couple of few three years ago and you, you were running, well, just give us a quick version of what you're, because you run a website called Claim Your Straw Man. Yeah, claimyourstrawman.com. And you've got an interesting story about how you came to this. Give us the one minute version and then I'll bring Gary Keely in and then we can have a chit chat. 
how I actually got it, well, like if you imagine, sort of, like it was an extremely successful martial arts school owner, had schools around the northeast of England, doing very well, used the money to buy into properties, became a property developer, right? Had properties in the United States as well as like all over the UK. And then when the week, boom, absolutely gone. Even my own home, and we were sitting there with absolutely nothing no money, no uh, or fiat currency, no property, no nothing. So, Decided to bugger off to Spain and just hide for a few years, get like, you know, quite drunk quite often. And in all of that time, though, I was looking at like, you know, this has been done on purpose. I've seen that dribble everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, how to actually find out what was behind the scam of the actual money system. So this is where it's all led to. And obviously, once you start learning one part of the scam, it gets bigger and bigger. And then you think, my God, we are living in a lie. <laughs> the whole mm -hmm. thing. So that's basically it in a very, very quick version. Yeah, and you've been really helpful to me. Thank you very much for all your help over the years. And um, when I when I got to it got to a point last year when I was like, you know, this heat, the people are dying. We need to stop waiting for med beds and revaluations of currencies because that was kind of freezing everybody. In, from you know stopping them from taking action so i went around to see my friend gary and i said do you want to open a healing center and he was like yeah let's do it so gary's here and uh how you doing gary hello hello <laughs> hey, Peter, so hey, yeah i was just sort of saying about how we set up the healing center but we set it up as a private members association because we knew that the old model the you know a limited company for profit was not the way forward what well, I don't think I've asked you this, so, so we did it. What were your thought processes at the time, Gary? Well, I don't know. I mean, this kind of tangled web is what it is, and it's everything kind of leads back to the same thing. Like we talked about the, the, the sovereignty aspect, but the health system and the financial system, they're all kind of one in the same. And once you kind of get onto a, 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 the idea of awakening, like especially the spiritual awakening, but then that, as I said, that leads into financial kind of sovereignty as well and then it leads back to what peter said you realize that like you get a like I, I got specialized in like in in health and fitness and wellness and personal training and that aspect when i was you know um when i was like developing my career and like peter actually after the crash it all it, it all went away um and when you can you dig into any one subject and you get really really good at it and, and learn a lot um when something like that catastrophic thing happens and you start to look into wherever angle you come from, it all leads into the same thing. The root of everything is a complete fabrication. It's illusion and it's a lie. And until you and, and until you start to, it doesn't matter where you come from, whatever field, because what I always say to people is no one wakes up and then goes back the other way. Never happens, not once. And that's how you know you're on the right path. And so when it came to the, the healing center and setting it up there was no other thing it was going to be even though we didn't know that much about it and luckily peter was there to help us but we couldn't do it another way like like from a from a energetic perspective it was impossible and so that's why that's why this is in alignment now um and the the, the systems that were very disparate and and siloed before and it was hard to get information that's much more accessible now and that's why it's important as, as many people as possible do this because that's what it's going to take to change things. Yeah. What do you, what do you say to that, Peter? Most definitely. I mean, like, you know, I've, I've kind of come at it from a different sort of like side, but still when investigating from the financial side, you know, why did that happen and why is it, I always had the feeling, well, that was done on purpose because we've been set up as a trap to go pull the rug whatever time they want and to watch it all fall down and then they pick up the pieces and keep the pieces you know and so th that's why i've looked at it from the financial side and then gone on to uh, the sovereign side if that's what the, you want to call it like you know well why are we all trapped in this system well you're only half trapped because the the knowledge is there to actually start of like untangle the little bits of ties that you've got to be able to start playing a better game and that's all it is. And you've got to look at it as a game. I've just actually been chatting to uh, one of my friends, uh, allegedly Dave. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Great yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, he's a great and, guy. Um, yeah, he's brilliant. Well, you know, and, and he said the same thing. So we're actually talking about my my channel, Checkmate the Matrix. It's like, well, that's what it is. 
It's learning how to play a better game of chess than them, find out what the rules are and work within the rules. And then you realize why all these other people have got plenty of wealth and all seem to be abundant and never worry about like that side of it. And I'm not saying that the spiritually not bankrupt, of course you are, but you know, we can surely be like not spiritually bankrupt, but learn how to actually navigate the system better on the financial side and play a better game. And that's all it is. And then how to actually set yourself up so you can operate in what we would call the private realm. So the way that we're actually going to operate being in the private realm is everything is going to be on a private contractual basis, which is going back thousands of years. Everything was all done on a contractual basis. You would go and you would meet like someone, you would actually agree to have a contract between each other and you would have a commercial transaction of some kind, even if it was like some bananas for exchange for some eggs. All right. It's a private contract. So this is what we're going back to to start to operate in the private and be more private about what we're doing in our own lives and not feeling that we need to run off, knock on the door of somebody who tells us that they're actually a government agent and give them all the information about ourselves and what we're doing. Well, there's a lot of um, I was watching. Um... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Gary, I think it's Gary Waterhouse. Yesterday, the ex-British policeman who's found, uncovered all this stuff with companies' house and these massive frauds that have been run. And over the last four years, a lot of people watching this will already understand that the local councils, the, the actual government, the, the police uh, um, are all set up as limited companies for profit. Yeah. You know, and and that they trick us into entering contracts. I said at the beginning, and I didn't answer my name. You know, the question about whether that was my name. And this is something I learned a long time ago. But the reason why I tell the story many times is because it does take courage to step through the matrix. It felt like stepping through the matrix. It was a big step for me personally, and that's why I was shaking because the you know I didn't want to go to prison because I had a load of little kids. You know, so the, you know, there's this constant threat. Over. And it's amazing since we've, you know, we've done shows together and the things that I've learned and, and, and the things that me and Gary have learned together by doing what we've done in the last year. Um, how many people still don't trust this process because they're like, well, I'll let you do it first and see how that goes. And then, you know, five years later, if you've not been put in prison and blah, 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 then maybe I'll have a look at it. But it it it, it, it is a spiritual thing. Like Gary said, energetically, there's once you once you are awake you can't go and do once you know that the whole government system and everything is a fraud you just can't go back to it can you no, no absolutely not and you know the thing is always what you don't have to do as well is like how would i put this like 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 literally commit suicide on it either you know i mean i've seen people who like they've said oh i've just come across you know whatever like um uh sort of like smacked you in the face at first and they went oh wow you know like um i was listening to matt letizia uh oh i don't know a week or so ago you know and um and, and he just says there and he watched uh the fall of cabal he said i had to watch it a few times and then he's like these things are going in his head and thinking it's even worse than i thought you know but something that just like smacks you in the face that thinks that oh now you can see it you've put them glasses on from what's it called they live they live. they live yeah you know and you just see it so then it's like you know but the thing is what you can't do is just go to right now i have to go and beat all the government straight away just me you know and then i, I know people who say i'm going to stop doing this stop doing this stop doing this and they haven't got a single process or a single thought or, or knowledge on what they're doing or how to do it and then they end up getting punched in the face never mind anything else smacked in the face with, a, with the truth um and they get themselves in the deep water and then it's like oh this is all rubbish and, and they go the opposite way whereas you know you need to re-educate really or maybe unindoctrinate maybe that's a better way of putting it because you know we we have been indoctrinated from birth for, you know unfortunately our parents were probably just saying things and doing things because that's the way you do things that's i was told this is what you do and this is what you say so then you follow on that path you listen you're getting programmed then you go to your 12 years or so of indoctrination prison you know they might be called it a school and it's all putting you in this system you know so 
you need to learn how to unindoctrinate yourself, but then start to learn legislation to start playing their game where you can go in behind them, right? And then start actually beating them from being behind them and working your way in. You know, I always like, I live not far from the Roman wall, okay? Like Hadrian's wall or whatever you want to call it, runs right the way across from one side of the country to the other. And I envisage that and then look at that with the Roman shield wall. And you know, like when the Britons were here fighting them, they would all just crazily charge, go naked, paint themselves blue and smash themselves on the on the shield wall, hoping they'd break through. 99% of the time they ended up flattened and dead. So, you know, instead of running at the shield wall, let's be a bit more clever, sneak around the sides of them, flank them, come behind them, and then we can start beating them from behind. Start undoctrinate, like unindoctrination. Get behind the shield wall. Don't feel like you have to charge and battle all the time. Let's start learning how to use a little bit better tactics and get in behind them and start using some of their systems against them. Well, I, it's obvious why you must be a bloody good martial arts teacher because, you know, as you were talking there, I was thinking, oh, that's the same as judo. You use the use the enemy's um, power against them to to achieve your objectives with minimal effort. But one of the best things you ever taught me, Peter, was you wear your private hat or you wear your public hat, whatever suits you. Because what you described, I've seen a lot of people do. Oh, he's got, has he got it? He's yeah, got no, I've still got him. So you got to be oh, in you the got them. when you need to be, <laughs> and then you go in the private when you need to be. What about this one? I've got this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, just before uh, we carry on, I know that some people in the comments are saying they've got problems with the, the streaming. Um, sorry about that. I think it's Rumble's new um, streaming service, which... Um, I've just tested today, but this should be the re if you can hear me, this replay will be on and I'll be sending it out and I'll be posting it in other places anyway. But I just want to share it with you guys watching. Uh, the reason for the show today is because the three of us have decided to um, make a course on what we know. And if you go to the video like this and just below, this is where the links is, link is. And if you click on that link, you'll see there's a page here for the course that we're starting on Tuesday, uh, the 19th of March for six weeks, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. GMT, uh, it's Greenwich Mean Time, UK time. Um, we'll be doing live Zoom calls for six weeks that will be about 90 minutes long each. Uh, between the three of us, we're gonna be teaching you all of these things and we're gonna give, be giving you templates and we're gonna give, do Q and A's and all of that kind of good stuff. And all of that stuff will be uh, recorded and put into a members area, which you can then access at any time. And you'll have access to, to that for, for as long as you like. Um, it's not actually showing the course page because I have to stop the screen and then start again. So I'll just show you that. So the, that link will take you to this, which is the page where you can read more about it. You can read the amazing reviews that, um, gary's got recently for the 5d crypto club course which has been running for five six months now hasn't it gary yeah since last august just before things started to really ramp up in crypto so yeah that's been going that's going really well and the reason obviously we're, we're using kind of the same structure we're going to we're going to teach it live because um what, what what happens is that you guys then come with amazing questions and it helps us then to really tailor it then to what exactly people need um and so you know I, I, obviously the reason we're doing it together is because i, I don't know Mark, um peter came over to our seminar on in january on the 20th and you know we had a great time there but um like i was surprised when he said like he hadn't seen as many people do it in the real world despite giving that advice so much and we've been in the trenches now doing this running the pma um doing all the documentation, setting up the bank accounts, making sure all our payment systems work. And it's been, like, it's been, actually it's been easy, you know? So to give that real world experience, to get that community involved, to have that support structure is exactly what you need now for, for this to, for this to drive forward and, and to have more places like this opening up. Yeah. And you don't have to. Yeah. And it's not, it's not that it's, it's not that like that this course is intentionally short, you know, it's intentionally short. You're basically going to be given action steps every single week, and then and and just put your mind is going to be put at ease that this is really really possible and all and also imperative now 
And that's why, why that's really why we're doing it. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, you don't have to have a business to benefit from this, do you? No, absolutely. No, absolutely not. Um, and what I would suggest if you do have a business is that you, once you get to grips with this, once you have all your documentation and you've got your mind right, given your own circumstance, again, it's not going to suit everybody if you've got hundreds of employees or whatever. But if you've got a relatively manageable business, you can wind it down and then restart in this new paradigm, in this in, in this new structure. For sure. Well, you you could have the two side by side and then just flip over. Yeah, yeah. And somebody, somebody asked a question on Telegram today. They said, um, "I think they said my husband's got a window cleaning business. Could could they do this as well?" I was like, "Absolutely." You yeah. know, you, you... anything along those lines. What you're actually doing, right? Let's put it in a simple way. So all he has to do is change his mindset. So he's not going to have a job. He's not going to be self-employed. You're only self-employed if you actually decide that you are this entity that they've been given. And then you voluntarily put yourself into this bracket that they've got for self-employed uh, uh, bracket. Tick that box and then that's where you're going to go and you're going to give all your information on what you're doing. No, what you're going to do is you're going to get rid of all of that. You're going to become a man or a woman, whatever you're doing. Under the creator, you're going to follow the law of the creator and you're going to act in the private. So what you can do is you can go and create like in, literally in that instance, right? I'm going to go and see that householder and we'll make a contract, be it verbal or whatever. I'm now going to be exchanging my uh, sweat equity for your donation. Um, and it's going to be an exchange of energy. You're going to give me what you have for your energy and I'm going to clean the windows as, my, as the exchange of my energy. So you're going to be working on a private, private contractual basis. And everything has to be private contractual. You're working in the private realm. It's got nothing to do with legislation. No matter what anybody tells you, it's, oh, you have to do this. If it's, this is a private realm. You are going to be private. You're going to operate in the private. And it's got nothing to do with anybody else. The same as any private members club or private association or any private contract that exists anywhere else. And, you know, it, from what from what I've learned in my um, speakings with people over the last few years is that it really is a mindset issue because I had to go through it myself. Although I stepped out of the matrix quite a long time ago, I still couldn't get my head around. Like when you were providing template documents to us, we were like, look, and I was like, what, what do we do with these next? Well, nothing because it's between you. It's just it's private. <laughs> it's just for you. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you constantly have that, and then you're flipping your head because because the brainwashing is so so deep. And I went to um, I think it was the Irish Brotherhood. I mean, Gary went to one of their meetings, and um, there was there was a phrase I learned there that I thought that stuck in my head, which was, whenever you register anything to a body, a corporation, as a government body, you are handing over control of what it is that you're registering to them which is why they have the register of births and then they create that straw man, which is why they have the vehicle document reg. It's not, you know, that's not an ownership document. It's just, you're, you're the registered keeper. You're the keeper. But they own it because you register with them. And this is the thing that people don't understand because then they're in a, then you're in a contract and then they can charge you the taxes. I mean, somebody's just put a being Andrew put a comment here saying, will it cover council tax this course? What, what do you mean? I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> well, I mean, it seems to me if, if, get, if, if with the things you learn, will it be? Would you be able to avoid paying it? Ultimately, right? Guess, okay, yeah. that's kind of like going to be on a completely different realm. I can tell you, I don't, I don't like, I don't go and try and tell people, look, don't pay a council tax. Start fighting them this way. Don't pay this. Don't yeah. pay that. Right? That that's not what I want to get involved in. Yeah. I'm not telling anyone what to do. If you don't want to pay it, don't pay it. And if you get some hassle from some of them, I'll show you how to deal with it, all right? That's what I can do. I can teach you and show you how to deal with uh, these people that are coming at you with fraudulent actions. Let's yeah. just put it that way. Yeah, but let me just right? jump in there for a second because this is this is actually really, really important because what, what, what this is going to give you and what, what it's giving you is and, and teaching you is, is the tools to establish in real terms, um, 
financial sovereignty, okay? And from there, everything will lead in. This, we're not, this is not going to be every single aspect of it. And, and the great thing is you can skirt both worlds. It's not like you're flipping that switch and you have to do every single thing in the private and all this pressure from bills and tax is going to come in and, and you, it's, it's going to be this wall. You pick those things off as your, as your acumen in this realm increases. So, like, I'm not going after parking tickets and speeding fines. And if a, if a policeman cop pulls me over, I'm not giving him a hard time doing all the stuff I've learned. Because it's not the game that I'm playing right now. Because the, 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 the big game is being financially free and sovereign. Protecting yourself, protecting your resources, protecting your family. And then, when you've got all that nailed down, protected, you're really happy in that space, then you can start playing the games in there. But I actually have a really strong feeling that... Enough, of, enough people will do this over the next few years where that ancillary stuff just starts to fall away. Like yeah. that's a lot of wasted energy. And part of this game and the system now of energy harvesting is tying people up in court. Like I'm not going to go to court. I have two little kids. I've got two businesses. I'm not going to fight a speeding ticket in court for months just because of that. So like choose your battles, but get, get yourself grounded in reality first. You know, get these basic things done. It gives you massive power. And tell you what, guys, it feels amazing when you do these things. Like Mark's felt it. Obviously, Peter has as well. But when it's working and you walk in and it's like, it's a different energy completely. It's, it's, totally, it's totally different. It's, it's, yeah. hard, it's almost impossible to explain what yeah. it feels like. But for the first time in my life, I feel like we're building something that really is for the benefit of everybody that's involved in it, but also... You know, the, you know, I've been running businesses for over 30 years and it was all, it's always about you have to make enough money to keep the thing going, right? So you have to have more coming in than's going out. That's just basic. Charles, Charles Dickens wrote that, I think, in one of his books years ago. And it just makes a lot of sense to do that. But when you're not running it, you know, it, get, it gets very annoying when you've got to go and pay this much tax for VAT, then you've got to go and pay. And they just, you get tied up in all this paperwork. When that's gone, it's an entirely different world. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's, and it's, it on the watch the state, whoever that was, talking about council tax, right? And I don't mean this in a rude way whatsoever. I'm just saying it how I see it and how I've actually got to know other people that are doing things, right, in, in different realms. So, look, I would say for if you think what we're going to do, what you're going to learn here of like Mark and Gary is like how to actually establish something that can actually create sovereign wealth. OK, so that you can actually develop something that's going to make you uh, let's just call it. We're going to call it financial, possibly financially free. So you're not worrying too much about the, the, the actual bills of every single day, like the council tax, the electric buying food, making sure that the house is warm as well as fed. You're not going to be stressed out about that basic level. So you're spiritually going to start to rise up. So we're going to put you in a position where you're not going to sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. They're going to teach you something that's just going to make you being able to have your own sovereign like uh, commercial enterprise that's going to move you forward spiritually as well as financially. So... Uh, you know, I'm going to give you two scenarios, right? Two different levels of people that I actually physically know, right? One of them or one set of a group of people are like high end criminals and they. Uh, they're really well, what's that? The, gov the government? Right? Is that the government? Is that called the government? <laughs> well, yeah? uh, not quite high as the government, right? But <laughs> below the government criminality level. But uh, these people make millions, millions and millions um, and whatever they do. Now, they pay all the council tax. They pay all the bills. They, they make sure nobody looks at them and gives them a second glance because of what they're doing. They don't want anybody coming and sniffing around and pestering them. And they are running a commercial enterprise. Be it, is it criminal? Like, are they actually harming anyone? That's debatable, okay? But what they don't want to do is have interference for nonsense, so if you want to develop, like with, say, like, you know, this course is going to show you how to actually be spiritually and financially free, right? So if you take it on that level, pay your fucking council tax. Get left alone so you can develop what you're supposed to be developing instead of these petty little things, okay? Now, on the other side, I know another group there that have been running this way for years, 
and I'm talking about I know them, I've done courses with them, I've spoken with them, I still am involved with them now, and I, I have weekly uh, videos, and you know, and they are in the private 100%, right? They, they, they literally they run commercial enterprises and do not involve any outside influence. That's the best way of putting it. They pay the council tax or property taxes. They pay all of the electric, the gas, the water, because they don't want any hassle. They are running an enterprise that wants to run smoothly. They're not going to sweat the small stuff. There are some groups out in this environment. And we were just talking about this. I've had about 10 interviews today with different people. I was running the interview. So, you know, the swapping information. And like we know that there's groups out there that have been set up to actually control others. So if you become bang, like sweat and smash, then you wake up and think, oh, wow, it's all criminality. They're there to fill you off to do one thing. So why are they concentrating so hard on I must fight the council tax? I must fight the council And you're not paying any attention to anything else. The financial crash that's co possibly coming, how they're going to put in CBDCs and then you're going to lose all of your actual cash. Get the bigger picture and don't sweat the small stuff. 100%. And the, the, the pick in your battles thing, uh, I, when I was touring America, the... Somebody in a uniform came to my house and said that I was, I was told my son that I was going to go to prison. And it was all over a driving thing. And he freaked him out. And when I got back, he said, Dad, why are you, you know, willing to go to prison over this? I said, well, it's a principle. Then I went, hang on a minute, he's got a point. <laughs> it's like, it's a 50 quid fine. Why, why all the energy it takes? And and they'll throw all the energy at it that they, they possibly can just to make a make a nuisance of you and, you know, put you in the paper or whatever. Um, but it is a big fear for people that have to step through. But another aspect of this will be, I mean, we talked about this last week. I'm talking to the viewers. The three of us talked about this last week and that me and Gary have paid, and I think Peter has as well, paid a lot of money to learn a lot of this stuff as well. And we've been to different, there's some people charging three, $4,000 for the same kind of information. But I think what makes this different is that we're living and breathing it and we're holding your hand and, and talking you through what we've learned um, with with good experience and templates. There's no extra charges for things like document templates or things like that. And we're going to talk about private trust, aren't we, Peter? Yeah, as well, you know. And again, you know, I, I'm constantly studying uh, on, on the actual private side as well as the trust side and how to create, like, you know, uh, tools that are going to protect assets. And I never stop. I never stop studying it. I'm still in video courses now that I'm talking. I, I would call them geniuses that are like, you know, like still learning from them. I never, ever stop learning. So I'm sharpening my skills to be able to help other people to do the same. I have like a, a complete library. In fact, you know, I ain't lying. Like this is all trust and law books, all of it, like the whole thing. You know, I've just knocked my camera over to going everywhere. I'll have to tighten it up. But that's, you know, that's all I do is read these, buy these and read them, the legislation and, and how to actually use it correctly in a private manner, staying in the private, but knowing publicly we can declare certain things to keep us private. So, yeah, you know, but we're definitely going to be talking about private trusts and how to actually protect your assets. Because if you do get the business or when you get the business going, you're going to be dealing with a lot of property that like is private property and you want to protect it it's not just about like the business side you don't want that those assets to be put at risk yeah yeah I and mean, I mean, this is similar with crypto sorry i was going to bring crypto in but you had something to say there gary what was that no just i mean you talk about avoiding like you know the corporation tax and the and, and the small bills like we said before but like pulling something out and 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 um trying to like reverse engineer that for uh, existing business is going to be difficult. But when you do it, like when, if, if you start in this new system, then um, like your corporation tax, you definitely will have to pay. And that means when, when you're, when you're in the private and you've got your PMA and you go up down the line and do your trust, then you're not going to pay income tax. And there are two massive ones that you can, you can deal with very quickly. And that's the big game that people should be focused on. Yeah, and of course, if they do the crypto course that you've been, but is it have they missed the boat for the crypto course? Would you say now? You, you, you missed. The, you, we're in the second part of this of of this bull run now, so we don't know how long that's going to go for. But um, like Peter said, there will be a major crash, one hundred percent. I think we have a bit of time, 
before it happens, but it's not that far away. <laughs> um, but yeah, given your situation, you, you, you have some time, I would say three to six months, maybe longer. Okay, well, that, that link to the crypto course, somebody asked that earlier about the PDF. Yes, it's available. It's not under this video. It's under all my other videos, though. This is a live. Um, it might be under some of them. But, um, yeah, you can still join in on that. And we were doing, um, Gary was doing a, the crypto call last night on Thursday, and I joined in at the end. And we had a really good question from a lovely lady in Iceland. And she said, would this course that we're doing here, would it apply to Iceland? And I said, I think we said that, well, yeah, because the the rules that apply in the UK, in Ireland, they're the same all over the world. America, they're the same everywhere, aren't they, Peter? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course you are. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, we've been set up in a fictional uh, world. So, you know, you can either keep yourself uh, aligned in the fictional world or you can leave the fictional world and go on the private realm and just disengage from the, the fictional world. We don't all have to join the Harry Potter series, you know. You can step <laughs> out of it and just stay into the reality. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've got a I've got a show coming up uh, in twenty minutes, and I'm just making sure my guest has, knows what's going on. Um, but we, we've, we've talked we've, we've talked for a, a, we've talked for like a, a long time, you know, about the fact since covid and this whole truth movement and the people being sitting around doing nothing waiting for someone to come and save them you know like that's we've, we've talked about that ad infinitum so we don't need to go into it but this is just another step in self-empowerment but until you do it the system's not going to change okay if it's quantum and it's watching you then it's waiting for you to do that so you know like if, for people who are all like you know, if if you're sitting on your on, on your if you're sitting down doing nothing and staring the wrong way, and all this amazing things happen behind you, you know, like you're you're gonna you're gonna miss it, you know. So it's like this is why it's important that regardless of what you're doing, that you get involved on one level or another in all in, in this in, in this movement to creating a better world. Well, that that's the other thing I said last night. If you remember, I said, look, if you if you do this and you learn what's on this course, and you're the only one in Iceland then you can go and teach other people because you, you're you're a pioneer, you know, and that's that's what this is all about. The stuff that you've taught people on the crypto course, although crypto's 14 years old, 15 years old, they're still pioneers, the people that are actually doing it. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. And, and and it's the same with this. You are a part, you're leading the way and you're going to show other people leading by example how we can build a better society and get rid of these parasitic fiction creating acts writing mon mass murdering monsters yeah and and the great thing as well like we'll talk about it lots in the course but i mean how people who aren't awake interact with this new system when it's actually up and running it's just very interesting like in terms of the the donation model and how the money works and and you know like people who are a lot of people will won't even <coughs> like they won't, they won't like even blink. They'll just, you, you'll say what the, what it is and they'll go, oh yeah, and they'll just go through the system. So a lot of people have this kind of like a, like resistance to it because they go, oh, no one's going to join or no one's going to interact or have commerce with me. But I'm telling you, like 99% of people, zero problem. They come in and they, they, they work it exactly how they're used to working a business, a shop, whatever. They just do it. So that, that's they'll make it easy. fit the mindset. They'll make it fit their own mindset. Yeah. Because if you imagine this, though, right? We are, we, you know, if, if the people come along on the course or when they come along and they're learning this, they're learning how to do this commercial model, right? This is actually going to put them in, in a commercial enterprise. It's not about them going to wake up. I hate that word anyway. Make aware, yeah. like, you know, do every customer, let's call them, right? Or every private contract walk in. You don't have to start like giving them the rundown of like the satanic <laughs> yeah, yeah. like uh, corruption. They're, they're going to be running out the door and then nuts. Don't go in there. You know, all you got to do is say, well, we just do a different model. It's a donation model, you know, blah, blah, blah. There it is. You become a member. We've got a private contract. All you got to do is sign there. I mean, you know, it's like, and that's it, you know, and they'll go, oh, that sounds good. You know, you don't yeah, have to I mean, start telling them anything else about it. No, how corrupt this is, it is this, and, it's not relevant. To, it's not relevant. It's not relevant. I mean, when people come to our healing center, they have to sign a membership form. Nobody's bothered by it at all. They're just like, okay, that's fine. They yeah. read that because they just want to. They want to avail of the service that we're offering. 
And um, uh, on, in terms of talking about price and stuff, we talked about this long and hard because over the last three years, I, I've done things that are like donation based, literally donate whatever you want. Uh, or if you can't afford something, it's free, etc. And I think that still stands for this course. But we are charging an amount of money for this course because it's bloody well worth it, firstly. And secondly, one of the things I've learned with doing the model where it's like super cheap or free uh, is that the people that do that, they just don't, and I've known this for a long time, they just don't stick with it and they don't make it work. So, you know, if you've got skin in the game, this is a bloody good investment, uh, really is a, a really good investment because just think about how much you pay a year in all these extra things that you're paying that you shouldn't really be paying. You know, if you can find a way of doing that and protecting all of your assets, then, you know, it's a, it's a drop in the ocean, really. Um, any any final words before we, we before we hang up? You guys watching, don't forget the link is below this video. If you're on Rumble, um, this probably won't go on YouTube, but it will go on uh, Telegram and it will go on my Substack and uh, as many other places as I can think of. But anything you want to say before we go? Because um... uh, I, I, would, I would just say that, I mean, you know, do, do this kind of journey to awakening and what's happened over the last few years. And, you know, the idea of getting sovereign and figuring all this stuff out if you do it on your own like i i could never do it on my own like there's 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 energetic blocks i think there's spiritual blocks there's all these kind of things in in place but when you see you're in a network of people the community who are actually doing it together and you know there's there's, there's like like-minded people who are going through this journey with you it's so much easier it's so much easier and and, and the support would be there in the, in the course and you'll see it and it'll give you the accountability and the motivation to actually follow through and do it. And that's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, the big thing is really is that, you know, you said it before when you were saying about like, you know, the uh, quantum systems and everything, you can't sit back and wait for somebody to come and rescue you. All right. Everything is about you. You, the rescuing is in you. You are your own hero. So you need to go on your own hero's journey not wait for somebody to come charging in with a white horse and a big hat, right? It's not going to happen. So this is an assistant. <laughs> yeah, all that I've, got a, I've got a horse out here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know? So, and, but anyway, you know, it's like we have to look at it to say you have to put the action in. You have to be the one that's moving. They always say, you know, Christ is within you. So let's stop bringing it out and letting it move forward that way. And this is what it is. Your own sovereignty is within you. But if you can be in a group that can actually encourage each other, help each other, and then get some education on it, and also on the business side, how to move forward commercially in, in a sovereign way, then this is the course to be on. Well, you know, I've already run a course teaching people how to make money online and be independent financially. Gary's run a course teaching you how to 100x that money. And now we're putting this together to show you how to organize all of that in a way that makes you more sovereign. So it's going to be a lot of fun as well. And we've got a Telegram group. Uh, when you when you join the course, you automatically get sent a link to the Zoom meeting uh, with all the logins and the Telegram group. Make sure you join the Telegram group if you do come into this because the community side of it, as we've learned from the courses we've done between us over the years, uh, is phenomenally powerful. And um, people really love that. So... I think we'll call it a day there, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming on a Friday evening. And uh, okay. thanks thanks to you guys <laughs> watching. The uh, the course is, I think I'm leaving, the price is going to go up on Tuesday. So don't delay, get on the course today. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, for thanks Mark. See everybody. Thank you. See you later. See ya. Bye -bye.